Okay, so we're going to do the blood sugar level test today. We'll use this sensor to measure what the blood and where the level is at millimoles per hour. And we're going to show you the time, what time we're doing the testing. Okay, so what we're doing right now is uh, we're going to take a data before I take the coke. And just to let you know, that's going to be the basal value of glucose. It's the pre-test value that we're going to use. And the insulin basal value, we have taken the data from Pacchini, and I forgot the exact name of that, but we can give you the link for the paper. That guy has done some tests on a normal person, so that like he has like one row, I mean one column of glucose levels and the corresponding insulin levels. Like that for a normal person. So we just assume like as we are doing this test with a normal person, so it will, it will somehow correlate with, with that data. So we'll just assume our basal level of insulin is going to be 10 or 11 around that. It doesn't really make any difference, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, like it's always good to be like to see like how how it varies with 10 or 11 or say 12, but it doesn't really vary that much. Stern. No, bring the camera in. So what what we do is we pick a hole in our finger, like that. Doesn't really hurt. And this is the sensor. And then this is the sensor that we're going to use. Okay, I don't think it went deep enough, so I'm going to do it okay. again. Alright, that should work. Alright. Yep. There's the blood. There's the blood. And we're going to feed this blood into the sensor. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can't really see. Oh, it, it can't see. Okay. Hold on. Can you come, 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 to the, come to this side? I can't see anything. Right. Come on. Oh, don't know. So here we go. Okay. Yeah. So you say 6.3 millimoles per liter at 335. Awesome. And then I'll be. Okay. So, so now you're drinking the, the coke within five minutes. Okay. <laughs> This amount of curves it says over here, 42 uh, grams of curves. Thanks. Yep. So when we will run our simulation, we'll just put in 42 amount of curves. So our curve will vary with how much amount of curves we are taking in. Mm -hmm. Almost 340. Mm -hmm. yeah. So at 339. Yeah. So we'll take another reading around five minutes later. That's at 345. So like like blood glucose, like you know the way it works is like it doesn't like get absorbed right away in the body. So it takes like a little bit of amount to start circulating in the blood. So we'll start taking at 345, then one more maybe at 355. And the sensors are really expensive and we have only a couple of them left. So we'll take on the four or five berries. That's that most like we can take. Alright, Jamie, we need a prediction. So we're gonna enter Charles' data and see how it relates to his actual data. He had uh, 6.3 of initial blood glucose level. 6.3. Yeah, and then um, 42 carbs. It's going to take a little bit to get these. It's going to enter. It's going to calculate for a bit. And then it will plot the values and display the peak time. Right now, yeah, that's a lot of so the peak was 8.29, and there's the graph of how his how we predict his his sugars to go over the next 30 minutes. Okay, and hopefully that will be our result later. So it's 3:50 now. We're going to take our second measurement now. Okay. 
Okay, so what? There's seven and the time is ready. Yeah, got it. Okay, thank you. Okay, so, so it's three fifty-five now. We're going to take our third measurement now. Oh, is closing himself. Wow, that's gonna hurt. Whoa, blood coming out. Okay, okay. So we're gonna use. Oh, oh. Hi, bring the camera here. Right. Come over here. It's 7.7 .7 millimoles. Oh. It's 355. Oh. All right. Cool. Thank you. Okay. So now it's uh, four o'clock. We're gonna make the fourth. Is it fourth? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're taking out the fourth measurement now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Are you on? Bring the camera over. Oh, yeah. yeah. Come on. Come on. What does it say? So it's 8.2 millimoles per liter at 4 o'clock. Awesome. Alright, thank you. Okay, it's uh, 4.05 right now. We're going to do the final point.